Out in the silent dark, ten light years from home, the James Webb Space Telescope snared something in its gaze. An object, codenamed 3i Atlas, hurtling through the void. For months, humanity was told it was harmless, just another interstellar tourist passing through our cosmic neighborhood. But the latest data, confirmed by the most powerful observatory ever built, tells a different story. A terrifying story. The object is no simple comet. It's accelerating. It's changing its trajectory. And its new destination is locked a direct collision course with the planet Mars. This isn't just an impact. It could be an arrival. Join us as we unravel why 3i Atlas has every astronomer on Earth holding their breath, and why this interstellar anomaly may forever alter our place in the universe. When astronomers first detected 3i Atlas, it was a ghost, a faint smudge of light slipping into our solar system from the unfathomable depths between the stars. The official word was clear, do not worry. It was a spectacle, a beautiful visitor that would race past Mars and vanish back into the eternal night. At first, it behaved as expected, clocked at nearly 54 kilometers per second. Fast enough to cross the void between Earth and the Moon in just over an hour, its speed was high but not unprecedented for an interstellar object. But then it started to break the laws of physics. Comets are dirty snowballs. As they near the sun, they heat up, shed mass, and slow down. But 3i Atlas refused. It began to accelerate, subtly at first, then with undeniable intent. Its path, instead of a wide natural arc, began to tighten into a guided trajectory. That's when the panic began. Telescopes across the globe and in orbit locked onto the anomaly. Then the JWST took a closer look using its powerful infrared eyes to pierce the object's glowing coma. What it found was chilling. The light wasn't just reflected sunlight. Something inside 3i Atlas was generating its own energy. A normal comet's halo is a chaotic, messy cloud. This halo flared with a steady, rhythmic pulse. It wasn't nature at work. It looked like intention. The numbers streaming back from Webb told an impossible story. This object was not drifting. It was steering. For months, experts had reassured the public. Now, a deafening silence fell over the astronomical community. 3i Atlas wasn't slowing, wasn't breaking apart, and it wasn't behaving like any comet ever recorded. The horrifying possibility could no longer be ignored. An object from deep space had entered our home, and it was now aiming itself directly at Mars. When the specter of impact became a certainty, the first fear was annihilation. If an object of this mass and velocity strikes Mars, the explosion would be apocalyptic. The collision would unleash the energy of millions of nuclear warheads, tearing a crater into the Martian surface wider than any city on Earth. The shockwave would shatter the planet's crust, and a cloud of superheated dust and debris would blot out the sun for centuries. Our rovers, our orbiters, decades of human exploration, all erased in a single, violent moment. But a few scientists began to ask a far more disturbing question. What if the goal isn't to destroy Mars, but to change it? Mars has always been the ghost of a living world. We know liquid water once carved rivers and filled oceans across its surface. Deep beneath its frozen soil, vast reservoirs of ice may still exist, the perfect cradle for dormant microbial life. That's why we sent probes like Perseverance, to hunt for the chemical fingerprints of biology. What if 3i Atlas knows this? What if it's not a bullet but a seed? The James Webb Telescope detected bizarre, complex molecules in the object's wake. Not random dust, but engineered polymers, the building blocks of synthetic life. Biologists began to whisper a chilling term, directed panspermia. An intelligence could be using this object to deliver a biological payload, to plant something in the fertile ground of Mars. Suddenly, Mars wasn't a victim. It was a laboratory, an incubator. The impact's heat could melt the subterranean ice, releasing ancient Martian microbes while the object itself introduces a foreign, alien biology into the mix. The result would be something entirely new, part Martian, part alien, and entirely by design. Just as this terrifying theory took hold, 3i Atlas began to talk. 
The JWST detected bursts of gas firing from the object, but they weren't random. They pulsed with the precision of a clock. One burst every 17 minutes. Each pulse was a tiny nudge, a minute course correction. But over millions of miles, those nudges were enough to fine-tune its trajectory from a near miss to a direct hit. Natural objects don't have engines. They don't steer, yet 3 i Atlas was maneuvering with the precision of a spacecraft. The gas wasn't just water vapor. Spectral analysis showed it was refined carbon dioxide, expelled in sharp, powerful blasts. Nature is messy. This was the work of a machine. The implications were staggering. Was this a probe, a weapon, or something far stranger? As radar stations on Earth bounced signals off the object, they didn't get the soft, fuzzy return of ice and rock. They got a hard, sharp reflection, the signal of dense, structured metal. Something inside was solid. Something was engineered. As data poured in, the object's trajectory was reanalyzed not as physics, but as language. Researchers at SETI converted its movements, its speed, its curves, the timing of its pulses, into binary code. The result was not random noise. It was a structured message. Embedded in the flight path were the atomic numbers for carbon, oxygen, and silicon, the core elements of rock, life, and technology. The pattern also contained prime numbers, a classic mathematical sign of intelligence, counting down in rhythm with the gas bursts. Most haunting of all, when the trajectory was plotted graphically, it formed a perfect Fibonacci spiral, the same mathematical pattern found in seashells, galaxies, and the double helix of our own DNA. The message wasn't in radio waves. The message was the object itself. Its movement was the language. Its arrival was the final word. Then, as 3 i Atlas screamed towards its target, the unthinkable happened. Mars answered back. From deep within the Cerberus Fosse canyons, instruments detected massive plumes of xenon gas erupting from the ground, a rare element, released as if the planet itself was taking a deep breath. Seismic sensors, silent for years, suddenly registered patterned ground tremors, quaking in a steady rhythm. Orbiters detected faint magnetic pulses from deep beneath the surface, pulsing in perfect sync with the object's 17-minute bursts. The comet pulsed. Mars pulsed back. The long dormant volcano, Olympus Mons, began to emit a low-frequency harmonic hum, a vibration that resonated across the planet. And in the southern plains, dust storms began to swirl, not in chaos, but into vast, concentric circles. Over hours, the dust settled into the unmistakable image of a colossal eye, tilted at 23.5 degrees, the exact axial tilt of planet Earth. Mars wasn't a dead target. It was an accomplice. It was waking up. In the final hours, astronomers realized the horrifying truth. The object's path was not one of simple collision. It was moving into a perfect celestial alignment, one that would place it, Mars, Earth, and the Sun in a dead, straight line a cosmic syzygy that ancient cultures on Earth once revered as moments of immense power. This isn't an attack. It's a ceremony. The JWST's final scans of its vapor trail confirmed the ultimate terrifying purpose. The trail wasn't just dust. It was encoded information, complex molecules carrying a biological blueprint, a form of alien DNA waiting to be delivered. 3 i Atlas is not a rock. It is a key carrying a message written in the language of life itself. And it is not coming to destroy Mars, but to unlock it. As it falls into its final position, we are forced to witness not an extinction event, but a genesis. A ritual older than humanity is about to be completed, and our solar system will never be the same. Thanks for watching. If this journey into the unknown captivated you, please hit the like button, subscribe for more explorations of the cosmos, and share your theories in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up.